hello everyone my name is dara simi and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can write a cover letter for your student visa application so a quick background as to what a cover letter is about a cover letter is a formal document that accompanies your application and in this case we are talking about your student visa application so what are the important things that you should note when writing your cover letter your cover letter should highlight your academic background the program you are applying for, your motivation for applying for the course, what makes the university stand out to you, your career goals, and how you plan to finance your studies, while also demonstrating your intent to return to your home country after the completion of your studies. I also want you to note that a cover letter is different from a statement of purpose, and a statement of purpose is also different from a personal statement. So without wasting any of your time, we are going to dive right into why we are here today and i want to implore you guys to watch this video to the very end because i'm going to be sharing some very important tips that i would like you to take note of while writing your cover letter so let's get right into today's video so for the purpose of today's video i'm going to be making use of this cover letter yours does not have to look exactly like this i would also ensure that i put a link in the description box where you can download a copy of this document so that you can always refer back to it when you're writing your cover letter so your cover letter should have three important parts that is your introduction the body of the letter and also the conclusion so let's get started with how we have to write this cover letter so you are going to start with the date so when picking a date you don't have to pick the exact date that you would be submitting the cover letter just pick a random date that is close to the date you will be going for your visa interview so if your interview is on the 5th of october you can pick 1st of october or even 3rd of october so the next thing you are going to write who you are addressing this letter to and in this case you are addressing it to the visa officer so just write the visa officer the embassy that you're writing the cover letter to and also the city and then the country so whatever country you are writing or submitting your visa application that should be the country you'll be using and also the city where the embassy is located so embassy of poland is located in the city of abuja in nigeria and then the salutation jessa or ma you don't know who exactly you're writing it to so then the title of your cover letter cover letter for student visa application and then you go on with the body of the letter so to start with the first paragraph just write a brief intro about yourself it does not have to be exactly like this you can always rephrase yours just ensure that the important things about yourself your name your passport number um, where you live the country you are from why you are writing the cover letter so you are writing um this cover letter like i wrote here i am writing to formally apply for a student visa to pursue a master's degree in food science at so 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 university and then i wrote the date the start date for um the program and just 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 write a brief intro about yourself and why you're writing the letter and then i moved on to the next paragraph so in this paragraph i talked about my academic background like you all know i studied microbiology for my undergraduate and i am currently studying food science so here yeah, I'm talking about my academic background that I hold a bachelor's degree in microbiology from this university and I explained in this paragraph what made me interested in food science. So I didn't wake up one morning and decided that I wanted to go study food science. So my interest was developed over time and I briefly explained that in this paragraph. So while writing a cover letter, you cannot write a lot of pages when submitting a cover letter. Your cover letter should not exceed two pages. You don't want to do too much when writing your cover letter so you have to be mindful so you have to be intentional you have to know how you can impute all those important details in this small paragraph 
so in this paragraph like i said I, I already talked about my academic background what made me interested in food science so what made me interested in food science was food safety so for me to know about food safety i need to go for food science do you get that part so it all depends on what made you interested in the course that you are going for for your own master's degree program and then over to the next paragraph i mentioned the importance of um, food safety like i said earlier i said i was interested in food safety so i had to go for food science and in this next paragraph i just briefly explained the importance of food safety so you can mention the importance of your course in this paragraph tell them why is your course unique what makes your course so special what positive impact is your course making in the society so you want to just briefly explain this aspect of your course that most people may not know about then the next thing you want to tell them about the reason for choosing the university that you applied to so why did you choose the university when it comes to this part you are not to give a generic um answer you're not to give a generic information the university has a green environment who cares there are a lot of beautiful places that you can actually go if it's about the green environment i mean all of these things are also good but you want to ensure that the reason for choosing this university is something that um it's something that supports your career goal is something that supports your course of study because there are some schools that may focus majorly on the heart and the school may have a beautiful environment but you are not going to apply to the school if you are a science student just because the school has a beautiful environment so you have to look for something that makes the university stand out to you among the list of other universities that does not mean that other universities are not good but you just have to look for it just look for that thing that makes the university unique and in this case i wrote that the university has a world-class research facilities that focus on food processing and safety technologies like i said earlier again and i would say it again i'm interested in food safety so i'm choosing this university because they have a because the university has a world-class research when it comes to food processing and also safety technologies and i also talked about you know the innovative approach to to addressing global food challenges because these are the things that i want to solve right these are the challenges that i want to address right and this university can give me what i want so i also wrote that i am particularly excited about the opportunity to collaborate with leading researchers in the field and apply cutting edge techniques to improve food safety standards so you can also write about working with researchers you can check the um you can check the, the departmental website look for people look for professors that are doing exactly what interests you so you can talk about it you can even mention the name of a professor in your in, in your own essay that okay the research of this professor is what really interests you because you want to work with this professor blah 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 like just just make your essay interesting to whoever is reading it and then i moved on to this next paragraph where i mentioned the things that i expect during my studies now I've talked about my academic background what made me choose food science I've also talked about the importance of what I want to study like what I want to learn which is food safety I've talked about the reason for choosing this particular university and now I am talking about the things that I want to gain during my studies so for this particular part i wrote that i look forward to taking courses such as food microbiology blah 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 so if you want to write something like this also go to your university website go to the departmental website specifically now look at the modules that you'll be taking during the duration of your study 
and look for the one that really projects your interest you are going to do different courses but just look for the one that really projects what you are interested in doing in my own case food safety so i wrote the courses that is going to help me gain better knowledge when it comes to food safety there are a whole lot of courses but you cannot write everything in this essay just look for three or four of the courses and you can include it in this paragraph so i wrote what this course is going to give me like these courses will provide me with a solid foundation in the principles of food safety as you can see food safety and quality management so i wrote the skills that i'm looking forward to gain during the period of my study and i also wrote something about the practical component because this is very important for me when it comes to my own field of study and for my cover letter i ensured that my cover letter does not exceed two pages so in this paragraph you can write about your intention of returning back to your own country and you can also write your career goals so when writing about your intention to return back to your own country you don't have to use the exact same words there are several ways in which you can write this so in this paragraph now i wrote upon completing my master's degree i will go on to apply the knowledge acquired to serve in the nigerian food industry by working as a food safety specialist to enhance food quality and safety standards so because i already wrote i will go on to apply the knowledge acquired to serve in the nigerian food industry this implies that i want to return back to my country it's not possible for you to be in a country and then you are serving another country do you get that part so even without mentioning i want to go back to my country after my master's degree program so i already passed the message of telling them about my intent of returning back to my own country and also in addition to what i wrote i said specifically in the long run i aim to secure a role as a quality control manager with the national agency of for food and drug administration and control that is navdac we all know that navdac is a top organization in nigeria so coming right out of school it might not be possible for you to get a role there so that is why i said when it comes to um writing your career goals you can break your career goals into a short term and long term career goals so you can write what you want to like immediately after your master's degree program if you are a type that you already have a job back in your own country before going for your master's degree program and you want to implement the knowledge that you've gained during your master's degree program in that role that you add back in your own country you can put it there and then you can hard to eat like what do you intend to get in the long term like do you intend to get to a managerial role in that company or do you intend to like move to a better company that has like a higher role or a higher position for what you are going to learn or for what you are doing currently so just to make this aspect unique to your own person for this paragraph like i said in the intro that you have to mention how you plan to finance your study so i i said to support my studies i have secured adequate financial backing true then you can write if you are funding yourself if you've gotten a scholarship write the name of the scholarship and what the scholarship is going to offer if the scholarship is just tuition fee scholarship write it there and write how you are going to get the additional funding if the scholarship is going to cover for everything write it there if you are getting your funding from family maybe your mother or your father write it there and i wrote which will cover my tuition blah 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 like that and then furthermore i maintain strong ties to nigeria including family connections and career opportunities that i will return to upon completion of my studies so in this paragraph you can just reaffirm your intention of returning back to your own country after you study and then for this um part that is where you would mention the supporting documents to your cover letter so while applying for your visa application there are a series of documents that you are going to see on the embassy website that you have to submit whereas there would also be some additional documents that you submitted that you think would help your application so the important ones should be the ones that um 
that is already written on the embassy website and then you can just put like few additional documents that you think in your own case would support your application so these are just important um documents that you have to submit while submitting your visa application this is not everything just like the important one so it all depends and after listing all of these documents you can just conclude by thanking them and that is all that you need to know about writing a cover letter sincerely put your name your name is santa claus and then leave a space where you can sign with your pen your email account and then your phone number and that is everything that you need to know about writing a cover letter so i hope this video helps you i'm going to put a link in the description box so that you can download a copy of this cover letter go online and read different samples of cover letter the one that is um, in your own field of study and the one that is even in another field of study just to know how to construct your sentences and if you found this video helpful kindly like share and subscribe to my channel and i'm going to see you in the next one thank you guys for joining me and bye for now